Imagine this. You're standing in the middle of a sun-soaked farm. There's no power line for miles, no humming generators in sight, and yet, somehow, water is gushing from a pump into the irrigation channels. Crops are getting fed, livestock have fresh water to drink, and not a single kilowatt is being used. So, how? How do farms keep their water flowing even when there's no electricity? Today we're diving deep into the clever, surprising, and downright ingenious ways that farmers across the globe have been powering their water pumps without relying on the grid. From ancient gravity tricks to solar-powered wizardry, you're about to see just how inventive rural life can be. Right here, on History of Simple Things. Long before we even understood what electricity was, people still needed water, especially farmers. One of the oldest and most elegant solutions was to let nature do the heavy lifting. Gravity-fed water systems have been around for thousands of years. If a farmer had access to a spring or stream on higher ground, they'd simply dig a channel or install a pipe, and gravity would do the rest, guiding water downhill straight to the fields. This idea is both timeless and powerful. It doesn't require engines or wiring, just a basic understanding of elevation and flow. In hilly or mountainous regions, it's still used today. It's silent, reliable, and virtually maintenance-free. But not everyone is lucky enough to have a spring perched above their crops. So what then? Enter one of the coolest inventions you've probably never heard of, the hydraulic ram pump. This nifty little device was first used back in the late 1700s and is still pumping away today. No fuel, no electricity, no nonsense. So how does it work? The hydraulic ram pump uses the kinetic energy of flowing water. Picture a stream running downhill. You divert a small amount of that water into a pipe and that pipe leads to the ram pump. As the water rushes in, it slams a valve shut. That sudden stop creates pressure, a water hammer effect. This pressure pushes a small amount of water up another pipe, sometimes hundreds of feet uphill, into a tank or reservoir. The result? A pump that uses water to move more water, all without plugging in anything. The ram pump is like a little mechanical heart. It thumps open and shut again and again, using the force of nature to push water uphill. It's a bit noisy, but it's endlessly fascinating and works even when you're off the grid. We've all seen those picturesque spinning windmills in old farm photos. And they weren't just decoration. Windmills, especially in places like the American Midwest, were once the backbone of farm irrigation. These machines harness the power of the wind to mechanically pump water from underground wells. As the wind turned the blades, a system of gears and rods converted that motion into an up and down piston action, drawing water up from below the surface. It's simple mechanics married to natural energy, and it worked, sometimes for decades, without the need for electricity or gas. Wind-powered water pumps were especially useful in wide open spaces where wind is consistent and strong. Though you don't see as many of them today, some farms still rely on them, especially in remote areas where wind is free and power lines are expensive. Fast forward to the present, and we've got a new star in the game, solar-powered water pumps. These systems use photovoltaic panels to convert sunlight into electricity. That electricity runs an electric pump, which can draw water from a well, a borehole, or even surface water like ponds or rivers. The water is then sent into tanks or directly into irrigation systems. What makes solar pumps such a game changer is their reliability. With very few moving parts and no fuel costs, they're ideal for remote locations. As long as the sun keeps rising, the pump keeps running. Better yet, smart controllers can help these systems run more efficiently. 
storing energy in batteries or controlling water flow depending on how sunny it is. Some systems even switch off automatically when tanks are full. You'll find solar pumps now all over the world, from Australian cattle stations to African villages to high-tech organic farms in California. They represent a sustainable long-term solution that's surprisingly affordable in the long run. Believe it or not, some farms still tap into the original source of horsepower, actual horses, or donkeys, or oxen. Before electricity, farmers often used treadmills or capstans powered by animals walking in circles to operate waterlifting devices. The mechanical energy would be transferred to pulleys and gears, which then ran a basic water pump. While this method isn't as common today, in certain parts of the world where technology is expensive or unreliable, animal-powered pumps are still used as a backup or even as a mainstay. There's a certain rustic charm and resilience in seeing a donkey help draw water for crops. It's not fast, it's not flashy, but it works. Now, let's not overlook some of the low-tech but effective ways water is moved without power. Siphoning is one such method. If you can create a vacuum in a hose, water can be coaxed to move from one container to another, as long as the receiving end is lower. It's like a poor man's gravity feed. Then there are treadle pumps, foot-powered systems where the user steps alternately on two pedals, driving pistons that pump water. They're mostly used in developing regions for small-scale irrigation, but they're incredibly effective. No gas, no electricity, just muscle. And finally, sometimes farmers just use buckets. When all else fails, hauling water manually still works. It's not ideal for large-scale farming, of course, but for backyard plots or during emergencies, it's as direct as it gets. So why should any of this matter to us, especially in a world where high-tech irrigation systems exist? Because not every place on Earth has reliable electricity. Not every farmer can afford diesel or connect to a grid. These power-free water solutions aren't just clever, they're essential. They keep communities alive, food growing, and livestock healthy. And even in modern farms, some of these systems offer a reliable backup. When the power goes out or fuel gets too expensive, nature and simple physics step in to save the day. The beauty of these systems lies in their simplicity. They remind us that sometimes the best solutions don't require more wires or gadgets, just a deep understanding of how the world works. From gravity to wind, from solar rays to human treadles, Water pumps without power are a testament to human adaptability. They're quiet heroes of agriculture, often overlooked, yet vital to our food systems, especially in the most remote parts of the world. So the next time you pour a glass of water or bite into a farm fresh tomato, take a moment to think about the journey that water might have taken, possibly uphill through a pipe powered by nothing more than sunlight or gravity. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.